Hello, my name is Susan Mantoni, and I am a candidate running for school committee in the primary election on May 1st. I would like to thank LCAT for the opportunity to connect with you so I can provide you with an understanding of who I am and what I stand for, as well as share with you my vision for East Longmeadow school system. I am a lifelong resident of East Longmeadow who graduated from the East Longmeadow High School in 1994. I have a bachelor's degree in criminal justice with a minor in Spanish from Western New England University. My occupational career has entailed field work as a private investigator and works in as a senior claims examiner for individual disability income claims. My husband, David, and I have three children, Liliana, who is 14, Lucas, who is 12, and Jocelyn, who is seven. Over the past nine years, I have participated in Meadowbrook, Mountain View, and Birchland Park Middle Schools, PTOs in various capacities, which included numerous terms as president. I have been a member of the school council at Mountain View and Birchland Park Middle School for the past three years. While serving on these communities, committees, I took the lead in the revitalization of the Meadowbrook School sign and created a safer courtyard where teachers are able to have outdoor classrooms. I stocked the Meadowbrook School with emergency go-to buckets for crisis situations, initiated the change to Meadowbrook School's car line system, worked with the Meadowbrook School's reading coach to establish the literacy closet, and was instrumental in developing Mountain View School's playground project. I continue to put countless hours volunteering in our schools for various needs. I also have served a term on the East Lawn Meadow Soccer Association's board. My children are avid soccer and basketball players, and we enjoy traveling to games and spending quality time as a family. Currently, I'm working part-time at Gomes, DeCruz, and Tracy PC as a tax preparer and bookkeeper. I am studying to get my enrolled agent's license and hoping to achieve this goal by the end of the year. Throughout this campaign process, I have attended every school committee meeting except one since January 1st of this year. In addition to attending these meetings, I have made an effort to meet with various principals throughout the district, as well as department heads from transporta transportation, support services, and the athletics department. Additionally, I do have intentions on meeting with the school resource officer and plans to meet with the IT department on Friday. I am very grateful for having this opportunity to sit down with each of them to discuss the strengths at their schools or within their department, as well as discuss the areas in which they feel are of a concern. As I have had an extensive history of actively volunteering within our schools, it has been a joy to see the students' support for me amongst the schools. Since the formal announcement of my interest for running for school committee, children of various ages have approached me and wanted to know if I could help them make some changes in the areas in which they have a concern. It is important for the students to have a level of comfort with someone who they can express their concerns with as they are the ones attending the schools on a daily basis. Their perspective is invaluable and I'm honored that they feel compelled to share their thoughts with me as I have a familiar face to them. My vision for this community is to come together to support one another and provide a solid education for our students that supports 21st century learning while in a safe learning environment. I truly enjoy working with the people in this community. Together, I want us to take a thriving school district and make it better. Areas in which concern me include the Massachusetts School Building Authority's anticipated approval for funding a new school, technology and keeping up with the digital learning standards that bring us to the topic of implementing one-to-one -one Chromebooks and how we can successfully address the financial concerns associated with this rollout communication, continuity, and collaboration amongst our schools district-wide, and looking at what resources we can add to support social and emotional learning, as well as safety within our schools. I am very excited to work with the school committee members, if given the opportunity to provide you with the information you need to feel comfortable with these areas of concern to move forward. With my background in private investigations, disability income insurance claims evaluations, tax preparations, and bookkeeping, I have had years of experience complying with state laws, researching data, spreadsheets, income statements, negotiating financial settlements, and policy contract reviews. I believe all these experiences will be a valuable asset in achieving the responsibilities that I will have as a school committee member. I have the ability to be objective and to listen to both sides of a given situation. I will strive to do what's right based on what needs to get done. 
In conclusion, I want to thank all of you for your time and ask for your support at the polls on May 1st. As a registered voter, I ask that when you go to the polls, you vote for the candidate in which you truly feel will give the school committee their all, while acting in the best interest of the students and being fiscally responsible on behalf of the taxpayers. I trust that I am the best candidate for this position as my overall achievements in this town supports my dedication and commitment to this community. With your vote, it'll allow me to continue to do more for the community on a higher level. I have children in multiple schools within the district as Liliana will be moving to the East Long Middle High School, Lucas will remain at Birchland Park Middle School, and Jocelyn will be transitioning to Mountain View School for the 2018-2019 school year. I also have a flexible schedule which allows me to give this board the time and the commitment it needs. I am dedicated and determined to make a difference. When you go to the polls on May 1st, I ask that you vote for Susan Mantoni. Thank you and have a good day.